Good morning, friends. So we'll start uh, page five eighty again. We'll complete, I think, today. So risk determination, assessment, and management. Determination of probability of a specific consequence once a PF and failure modes have been determined for the relevant damage mechanisms. The probability of each credible consequences scenario should be determined. The probability of credible events leading to the specific consequence could be factored into probability of specific consequences occurring. The probability of specific consequences is tied to severity of consequences and may differ considerably from the probability of equipment failure itself. Calculating the probability of specific consequences. For example, the equipment item containing a flammable fluid is being assessed. The probability of specific consequences should be product of the probability of each event that could result in specific consequences an example, the specific consequence being evaluated in a fire. An example event treat starting from a loss of containment as shown in below. Probability of fire, probability of failure, probability of ignition, probability of fire 0 0.001 per year into 0 0.01. So probability of failure is 0 0.001 per year and probability of ignition in 0 0.01. The probability of fire is 0 0.00001 or 0 1.00e minus 0 0.5. The probability of no fire encompasses two scenarios, loss of containment without ignition and no loss of containment. The probability of no fire would be probability of failure into probability of non-ignition 0 0.001 per year into 0 0.99 plus probability of no failure that is 0 0.999 so probability of no fire is 0 0.99999 per year risk of fire 1.00e minus 0 0.5 per year into 0 dollar 1 e 0 0.7 so 100 dollar per year loss of containment probability of failure no fire probability of non-ignition fire probability of ignition risk of fire 1.00 e minus pine minus 5 per year into 1 e 0 0700 dollar per year note that when a risk matrix is used the probability to be plotted should be the probability of associated consequences not the POF. If the probability of loss of containment is 0 0.1 the overall risk above the 0 0.1 into 100 dollar per year 10 dollar per year Sensitivity analysis, the more important when a performing risk analysis that are more detailed and quantitative in nature. Sensitivity analysis typically involves reviewing some of the input variables to the risk calculation to determine the overall influence on the resultant risk value. Caution is advised in being too conservative as overestimating consequences or pure values will unnecessarily inflate the calculation risk values. Presenting over inflated risk values may mislead inspection planners, management, and insurers and can create a lack of credibility for the user and the RBI process. The more quantitative consequence and probability data are being used, where showing numeric risk values is more meaningful to the stakeholders. The risk plot or graph is used. 
ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फेल्योर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ फेल्योर प्रोबेबिलिटी कैटेगरी कॉन्सिक्वेंस कैटेगरी प्लॉट रिस्क प्लॉट और मैट्रिक्स वंस द प्लॉट हैव बीन कंप्लीटेड द रिस्क प्लॉट और मैट्रिक्स कैन बी यूज्ड एज अ स्क्रीनिंग टूल ड्यूरिंग द पोलराइजेशन प्रोसेस प्रायोरिटाइजेशन प्रोसेस Equipment can also be rigged, prioritized according to the risk value of the tabular form. Reduction of some risk to a lower level may not be practical due to technology and cost constraint. Alarp for the risk that is judged acceptable, no mitigation may be required, and no further actions necessary. For risk considerable, unacceptable, and therefore requiring risk mitigation. the better predictability loss of uncertainty there will be as to where failure may occur mitigation repair replacement catch changes it is can then be planned and implemented prior to predicted failure date the reduction of uncertainty and increases the predictability of the inspection translates directly to a better estimate of the probability of failure and therefore reduction in the calculated risk rigorous mrc programs for the changes of established parameters the quality of inspection data and analysis of interpretation will greatly affect the level of risk mitigation depending on factors such as remaining life of the equipment and type of damage mechanism risk management through inspection may have little or no effect the most practical and cost effective risk mitigation strategy can be developed for each item usually inspection provides a major part of overall risk management strategy but strategy but not always inspection is only effective when the examination technique chosen is sufficient for detecting the damage mechanism and its severity internal resort rotated noting that the invasive inspections in some cases may cause deterioration and increase in the risk of items example where they can happen include the following moisture ingress to equipment leading to stress corrosion cracking pscc internal inspection of glass lined vessels removal of passivating films human errors in the startup restreaming increased risk associated with shutting down and starting up equipment resources can be applied to the shifted uh, to those areas identified as a high risk or targeted based on strategy selected increase equipment integrity and inspection more cost optimization should remain the focus documented mitigation action plan should be developed for an equipment item re requiring repair or replacement achieving lowest life cycle cost for rbi not only for rbi we use the optimized inspection cost that directly affect the cycle cost but can also assist in lowering overall life cycle cost through various cost benefit assessment benefit assessment the following examples can give a user idea on how and lower the life cycle cost to rbi will cost benefit assessment rbi should answer enhance the prediction of failures caused by damage mechanisms this in turn should give user confidence to continue to operate the equipment safely closer to the predicted failure date when equipment deterioration has reached a point risk failure cannot be managed to an acceptable level replacement repair is a fund the only way to mitigate the risk the fitness for service analysis can be performed determine what size of loss bound future 
inspection would require repair or increment replacement. Modification and redesign of equipment utilizing rigorous MOC process can provide mitigation of FP of removal of deadlocks. Emergency isolation. Proper location and isolation valves is a key to successful risk mitigation. Modify process. Mitigation of primary source of consequences may be achieved by changing the process towards less hazard condition. As with physical modification, any process changes should be conducted only after the application of a rigorous MOC. Reduce temperature to below atmospheric pressure boiling point. Reduce size of cloud. Okay, I'll stop here.